Because I could have sworn he said 4.30. So I'm walking around the floor. I'm like, all right, it's 4.30. It's go time. So I walk to the back, bend down and tie my shoe, pop my shirt off, slip it in my fanny pack. So I'm walking around for a good maybe four or five minutes. I see a couple other guys, and I look at them, and I give them the nod. They're just looking at me, and one looks at their watch and points, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm walking around for a good five, ten minutes, and they don't say anything to me until everybody else takes off their shirt. And I was like, ah. Oh. I, was, I was really, like, really looking at the, this rack of shirts and uh, a salesperson came over and said you either have to wear a shirt or you have to leave. And there's this very cute girl and I said hey would you wait a second to have this in a small and, uh, and, 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 and she said no what we have here is what we've got. Uh, oh, I, I really need this in a small. She's like oh. I'll check in the back. And she went to go check in the back. And she, and she came back, she's like, no, we don't have this in a, in, in a small, but you really have to leave right now. So I was walking down the stairs and um, it was a middle-aged woman, like a very practical looking woman. And she just very flatly asked me, she said, why does everybody not have their, why does everybody have their shirts off? And I said, well, you know, the weather's been back and forth lately. And I think a lot of people just thought it was gonna be really warm this weekend. And she looked at me like, very, she's like, oh, that, like a very, like, that's a reasonable response. <laughs> uh, I just feel, a finger running down the middle of my back. <laughs> I turn around and then there's like, this old lady just passed by and I guess she just really got into the moment. So I was coming down the stairs just getting pushed and manhandled and then um, this old man bumps into the sales associate who was trying to escort me out and then the guy turns around and says don't you fucking push me to the old man and then the old man was like do you work here? What's your name? And he's like yeah I work here. I don't care what you think. I'm trying to get these people out here, so get the fuck away to the old man. And I was taking a picture of the male model at the very end. And she saw my camera, and he came up to me, and grabbed me, and said, Is that a video camera? I got a video camera. Hey, take this guy's camera, confiscate it, he's got a video. Look. And then I said, Hey, that's just still. He's like, Listen, I'm sick of this shit, take his stuff away. And he sort of tasseled with me and I wrestled back and then I put it down on the ground and flipped it up and showed it was just a still camera. I reached out to shake the model's hand and he said to me, he said, I'm not playing your game anymore. And I was right at the cashier and the cashier was trying to sell me some perfume and at that point I got nabbed by the security guy so I couldn't even buy a shirt uh, before I got out of there. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Did you see anything, you see anything funny? Yeah, the Anybody price. <laughs> so I was downstairs shooting in the back, and uh, this is a really short story. I was downstairs shooting in the back, and one of the employees ran by one of the other employees. And was like, "This is the best day ever." <laughs> so I went, I went up to the girl that was left standing there, and I'm like, "Why is this the best day ever?" And she's like, "I don't know, because all these guys without shirts, they're not with us." I'm like, "They're not with you?" She's like, "No." <laughs> but she thought it was great. She thought it was hilarious. So we were shopping trying to guess the prices of the shirts because we figured that'd be a fun game to play. And eventually a friend of ours was trying, was, we figured, okay, this is actually a good shirt to buy, so we're going to go. And like, one of the guys taps us and he's like, you guys have to go. Uh, we're going to call the cops. We're like, really? Like, we just want to buy the shirts. Like, no, 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 you can't do that. We're going to call the cops. And then like, but one of the other uh, saleswomen went away. She's like, I really like what you guys are doing. So <laughs> it kind of made it all worthwhile. When people would come up to me and say, what are, like, what are you guys doing? I would say, well, we're all models. And they say, oh, are you doing a shoot? I'd say, yeah. We did a shoot in Central Park, and then we're, uh, we came over here to do a shoot you know, with Abercrombie and & Fitch. And they were like, wow, that's really cool. And then the more people that asked me and the more I said we're all models, I realized the like, true meaning of what was going on. And I started to say, well, they were like, what's the message of it? And I said, well, we're just, we're all models. And they were like, oh, you're all, you mean we're all models? And I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? We're all, we're all models. And my favorite moment was right at the end. Uh, I was, <laughs> uh, the, I, I was basically at the front of the store pointing inward, and the model had an attendant with them, and they were both shell shocked. Like she had a little camera, and they were both staring out the front of the door, just like stunned. And behind them was just framed this other naked man. So it's naked man with a big blown up naked man, and them just like staring out, just being like awash with uh, experience. And she looked down. She said, "You're being shot." You're being filmed, you're being filmed. And they they kind of crumpled off into the store. So what we left with is we forced the topless guy into their own store. And so at the end of it, we still left one person topless walking around the store because we had like forced their own model in there. It's great. <laughs>